Hi, I'm Peter Nolet uh, from Imager Corporation. I'm the product manager for Side Power Thrusters. Today we're going to talk about changing the new flex coupler in our single prop thrusters. So here I have our SE50 thruster. Okay, why do you replace the coupler? Well, if you suck something into your tunnel, your drive connection, which is inside the boat, is meant to be your weak point to give. So you don't have to haul the boat. This can be replaced with the boat in the water. So what happens is you draw something through the tunnel, it breaks the coupler, now you hear your motor running but no thrust, okay? You stop running your thruster in that condition. So in this one, what you're gonna do is your first thing you do is remove your motor, okay? So take your solenoid cover off, oops, excuse me. And you've got, on this particular unit, you've got four mounting bolts in the corners, okay? So we're gonna remove these mounting bolts. This takes a six millimeter Allen key for these Allen head sockets. I've already removed these to speed up the process a little bit just to show. So we've got four bolts that we remove. Now if this was on a boat, we're also going to unplug our control harness to give us some free, way to, free ability to move the motor out and also our battery cables. On the cables, you want to hold that inside nut here, your securing nut for the post, and then release or loosen the outside nut to remove your cable. Okay, that way the terminal doesn't move on you. Once those are all removed, now we can lift our motor up and off. Okay. And on the bottom, you've got your drive connection, okay? On a single prop thruster, basically you have a U-slot in your drive shaft that protrudes inside the boat in the middle of your saddle, okay? In that U-slot is where our new coupler um, engages, okay? So this is your engagement piece that goes into that U-slot. There used to be a shear pin drive on these units, and now we've gone to this flex coupler. So what happens is, this is still your weak point, which is basically, they call this the shear pin but it's a designed as part of that coupler, okay? That will break in there. And so when that breaks, again, same thing, motor will run, but no thrust. You pull the motor off, and to get the coupler off, you just use a screwdriver and you're gonna just pop it off, okay? You might have to move it around a little bit and just kind of pry it up, okay? And you'll see on the back side of these now, where there used to be a shear pin on the drive shafts of the motor, now it's an actual drive pin. This is a hardened pin, it's not meant to break, okay? And then the coupler drops right down on top of that. So when this breaks, all you're gonna do is grab your new piece. You buy these from Imtra. Basically, it comes with the coupler and a new pin in case you need it. You shouldn't break the pin, but we're gonna give you one just in case, okay? And then it's just a matter of lining this back up. Pretty simple. And with a rubber mallet, you're just gonna tap it back into place. Okay, it's in and then reverse the process basically back onto your motor. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, back in place. Your four bolts, and we're gonna tighten those back up. Then you're gonna reinstall your battery cables, your control harness, solenoid cover back in place over its posts here with its finger nuts, and you're done. Pretty straightforward process.